high grace and beautiful power of God. Welcome to my channel. This is Blessing Yagwina, a great channel full of God's words, prayers, prophecy, word of knowledge. Here, we have all the Bible and audio playlist. Subscribe, touch the best, stay with us, share our video, let people be blessed. You are welcome. God bless you. You are blessed. Today, I've been looking at a great scripture. God's word is so powerful. God's word gives us wisdom. God's word makes us to know who we are. There's power in God's word. As a Christian, do you know you're not ordinary? You're not. Let's go. You'll see. Daniel 3, I read from 16. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the bony, fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of thy hand, O king. But if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve the gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed against Sedrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should hit the furnace one seven times more than it was, uh, than it was won't be eaten. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the burning, fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their coats, their housing, and their ass, and their other garments, and were cast to the midst of the burning, fiery furnace. Praise God. I don't want to, to make a very long video. You know what happened later. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So far, I'll continue to read from 25. Jedi and Abednego refused to pass to the gods. You can worry by yourself. Daniel 3, you see everything that happened there. But I don't want to do a very long video on this. But you, I know many of you know the story already. They refused to pass to the gods. Hallelujah. And because of that, they were told they're going to put in the fire. They said, Oh, king, we we'll don't be careful in this matter. We're we'll not going to bow to your gods. No. If you put us in the fire, God, our God is going to save us. And if he's not going to save us, we're not buying to your gods. And the king was angry. And he said, he commanded to throw them, maybe five, seven times hotter. And put Shadrach, Mishan, and Abednego in the fire. But what happened? This point is where I'm going to. All this one I'm reading. I'm, I'm going to this place of, of the resort that I'm going to. That's my point. What happened? When they were put in the fire, were they burnt? They were not burnt. 25. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no heart, and the form of them fought is like a son of God. Hallelujah. They were put three men in the fire, and decided to see four. Because God entered the fire to go and stay with them and help them. They decided to see four men, and there are no heart. If I go read by yourself, the people that put them in the fire, the people were even by the smoke, they were even slayed. But people that were in the fire go, that they were bound and put in the fire. Nothing happened to them. Why? That's exactly my point. The power of God. Do you know that God is powerful? Do you know that you are scared of God? You're not ordinary. Do you know that God has put his power in you? Do you know that God will always come and help you? He said, Oh, your very present help in times of trouble. God is your very present help. In times of trouble, do you believe that or just read it for reading's sake? Do you read the Bible and see the miracles in the Bible? Do you think it's just for those days or do you know that it's for now? That even you yourself can experience great testimonies and great miracles. Because God said, I will not leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. God did not forsake them. And that's why God did not forsake them. We will not forsake you too today. He will be with you in the midst of that fire. And he will deliver you and save you. He said, when you go to the fire in the book of Isaiah, he said, I will be with you to not, to not burn you. That's what you are seeing here. But when we read the book, we are just reading, with like a, we're all reading like a story. No! When Isaiah uh, virtually says, if you go to the fire, to not burn you, to the fire, to not overflow you, it's exactly what he's saying that he's saying. That what happened here. When they fire, they don't burn them. That's what is happening here right now. So 26. Then the name Bushadnezzar came near to the mouth of the bony fairy furnace and spake and said Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego ye servants of the most high God, the matter has changed you 
before it was said something nice you know, say something else now nah. everyone that tried to condemn you they will still got miracle in your life will they still got miracle in your life their mouth they will change mouth they will say oh come and show me your god Sabbath of the most high god amen you Sabbath of the most high god comfort and come either hey he says you come out to he wants to make it fire to be seven times so you put them inside when i said that you will come in that why you saw what is more than him you saw what is more than him those are planned for you we see what is more than them and they will free you in jesus name amen then shall mr abednego came forth of the midst of the fire and the princess governors and captains and the king's counselors being gathered together saw this man upon these bodies the fire had no power hmm. nor was an air of their heads signed neither were their coats changed with their coats changed when the smell of the fire had passed on them even the smell of the fire the smell it didn't even pass on them much more to burn them you see that's who we are as Christians. That's who you are as a Christian. The power of God is in you. God's eyes are watching to our throat in the earth and have to prove himself strong on your behalf. God will always come to you. It's a, it's a very present help in time of trouble. I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. That you'll be conscious of the God that you are, that you are serving. In Jesus' name. I pray for you. In the midst of trouble, God will show up. In the midst of your challenges, God will show up. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and God will show up and God will deliver you. And all those that were contributors to the problem will come and surrender to you and ask for your forgiveness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, all those that were, that were the ones that caused your problems, they will come and ask you, Where is your God? Let me serve your God. You, are, you, have, you have a most high God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every mouth that said bad things about you, their mouth will change saying good things about you. In Jesus' name, when you see the miracle of God in your life, when you see the testimony of God in your life, when things are turning around for your good, all your enemies will change and become your friends. Hallelujah. Ask you to, 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 to come and show them the God you are serving, they can serve your God. Lead to their repentance. The miracle in your life will lead to the, to the repentance of many. The miracles that God will perform in your life will lead to the repentance and salvation of many. In Jesus' name. Yes. The testimonies that will comfort your, your family, your life, will lead to the, to the salvation and repentance of many. In Jesus' name. You are blessed and lifted. Evil plan against you will turn around and will not work. It will not be able to overpower you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are blessed and lifted. It's well with you forever. Amen. If you are not born again, why are you waiting for? Give your life to Christ. self me prayer of salvation. Say, Lord Jesus, today I come to you. Be my Lord, be my Savior. I believe that for me. You were buried. On the third day, rose again from the dead. Lord Jesus, I'm now yours. God in heaven, thank you for sending your son to die for me. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. If that prayer was said by you, you're not born again. Start going to a Bible teaching church and stay with us here. Subscribe, touch the bell, share the video. If you're watching from Facebook, follow us. God bless you. I'll see you next time. Bye.